I've got all the power with the camera. I'll encourage him to go this way. It is, it's a nice turnout. Mm. Good people are not sleeping in Oila for a change. Yeah. Welcome to Isla, Mr. Wren. Nice, nice to see you. Good Thank you. Could I ask you a quick question? I'm going to talk to some people real All right. quick. Okay. You've been out the port loaded, had a look how beautiful it is. It is really beautiful. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. I don't want to wreck anything. I never want to wreck anything. Welcome, Yeah, so do we. Yeah, 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 so do we. yeah, yeah we certainly fantastic? do. We're all on the same page. All right. Yeah. Water's fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Let's have a look at this. Used recycled water. Big industry, not ocean water. Yeah. We'd, we'd actually like you to use the stormwater and sewage water from Adelaide okay. for fresh water rather than put a desalination plant in. What do you think of that idea? What we need to do is to get, I need to get expert advice, that's why we're having an EIS, that's why we encourage people to make submissions to an environmental impact statement, because I want to make sure that, when, I mean everyone knows that, you know, I used to come up to Waila with Don Dunstan and I've been up here with Mick Young and Jack Wright and Des Corcoran and John Bannon and Frank Blevins and Lynn Brewer. And on all the times I came up, people in the north said to me, Mr. Ram, we need jobs. We need jobs. And that's important to me, and so is the environment, which is why I'm Minister for Sustainability, why I'm Minister for the Climate Change. I happen to believe that we can do things properly and, and have a mining boom and look after the environment. And that's what I've told my experts to do. So, you know, someone's saying, oh, why do you want to wreck this? It's just rubbish, you know? What I want to do is get these kids to get a chance to have careers. You know, when people said to me about coming to Wyala, you know, that, that the Wyala was closing down, kids would have to leave Wyala to get jobs elsewhere. I don't want that to happen, but I don't want to wreck the environment either. So what I want to do, and that's why there's been no approvals done, and that's why we're having an EIS process, is to make sure things are done properly. Just Very good. The alternative yeah. Could well, you comment on the alternative, well, on the alternative port? The, I haven't been given the briefing. Why don't you give me a briefing about that, yeah. and rather than trying to get me to say something, I mean, that's no, just silly, you know, you know that's silly, and I know. Sid Wilson there's one of those no, that's the, the group that's nice the alternative. We've been nice trying to talk to your ministers for over three months about Malakwana, well, and we haven't had uh, the decency of a letter here response. I, here I am talking yes. to you now, right. and what I'm asking all of you to do yes. is to uh, is to put in a submission to me 
I want you to put in a submission to the EIS. If you are all fair dinkum, and I reckon you are, then what I re want you to do is to demonstrate your fair dinkum by putting in a submission to me as Premier, and then I'll make, and also make, put one into the EIS process. Because just as it's important to challenge the proponents of of minds and things about their environmental credentials and put them under pressure. It's really important to have your credentials and your submissions put under pressure as well and under scrutiny. Mr That's Rand, we have tried through the Wyala Major Development mm -hmm. Steering Committee to have access to your ministers and we have been denied that. Well, we have written letters to Mr Conlon and we have not had a response from Mr Conlon. We can do that. We have applied for five discussions okay. with yeah. your ministers tomorrow uh -huh. and have got two. Oh, well, that's pretty good, isn't it? And, and, oh, one right. of, and your tourism minister had, a, had said that she's not prepared to talk to us because it doesn't really come into her portfolio. Now, Point Lowly is a tourist attraction. It's a pull-through going All through right. Lincoln. Okay. We, we have been Holloway, ignored. You get two more important ministers You've got the Deputy the Premier and you've got the Minister Excuse for me, Mines. Excuse me, Deputy Premier. Your um, group told me that you were not available and that Mr Holloway would be presenting no, yourself. Well. Is there, a, there, we are, there we are. Isn't that... Hey, here's, I know it's not misinformation. Every, every I've got one. it in facts at you're gonna home. To me. You're going to listen to me. Don't you? Just calm yourself down, OK? What I'm saying to you is that here we have an op... You've got the Deputy Premier of the State and you've got Paul Holloway, the Minister for Mines, are prepared to meet with you tomorrow. In the meantime, you will tomorrow give me a written submission that I can take to Cabinet. I want that by the time I leave tomorrow. You won't have it tomorrow. Oh, well, you therefore, you're not fair dinkum. We're not hey, fair dinkum. Fair We've been at it for six months. Well, you would have had it prepared, I would have been with thought. nothing but content. All right, we'll be there tomorrow. How long do you want to give us tomorrow? How long do you want? I want an hour and a half, please. Do you really? You're yes. very... Uh... Yes, an hour and a half would be nice. Well, you're not going to get an hour and a half. Well, how much can you well, give me? we'll give you enough time for you to present your case, but you seem to be very angry and... I am. Disappointed, uh, really I am angry Why and I am pumped because I've been trying to talk via the right process to government for over well, six months. The government has flown here for a whole day tomorrow so we can listen to a whole range of community issues. Okay. And what we're excited about is that Wales is undergoing one of the great economic booms in its history, right back to the, the days of the steel industry. You don't industry. have to tell me. I've lived here excited. for 60 years. Well, I've worked excited. in the steel industry sure. for 40 years. Well, you know? What... What won't work is getting angry. If you want to have we're, a we're constructive discussion with me, okay. thank you, we, can have we appreciate that. We appreciate that. that. We can talk but honestly, but if, if you're going to be angry, no, yeah. no. I won't have a meeting. We won't. All right. no. so thank you very excuse much me, time. Minister, thank you. I will not be angry. How long will you allow us tomorrow? Well, please? I don't know how much is in the diary. Probably half an hour, 45 minutes. Okay, thank you.